they say that the things that we take for granted are probably the most important things in our lives and that includes time. Whether you're aware of it or not, you actually have a relationship with everything in your life. You have a relationship with time, you have a relationship with money, you have a relationship with sadness, you have a relationship with happiness, you have a relationship with gratitude, you have a relationship with worry. You have a relationship with everything in your life. And time is probably third on the list of the most important relationships you'll ever have. And if you're wondering what's on this list of relationships, well, I'll give you the first three. The first most important relationship you'll ever have in your lifetime is the relationship that you have with your creator. The second most important relationship you'll ever have is the relationship that you have with yourself. And the third most important relationship that you'll ever have is the relationship that you have with time. So why is time so important? Well, first of all, time is the amount of days that we're going to live here on Earth, God willing. And second of all, even if we live for till 100 or 120, our time here is limited. So it's extremely important that we actually build a relationship with time. We understand how limited it is and we make the most of it. <laughs> Your legacy and my legacy isn't going to be about how beautiful or rich or poor or fat or thin we were. None of that matters when it's our time to go. Our legacy is going to be about basically how we spent our time. How did we contribute to the greater good of humanity? And contributing to the greater good of humanity involves two things. Number one, loving yourself and taking care of yourself because you are humanity. And if you don't love and take care of yourself, you can't contribute to the greater good. And number two is using your time wisely appreciating your time and using it productively and if we all appreciated our time and used it productively then we would all live unimaginable amazing lives and that's what you do is it love yourself you begin to look at time as a relationship you build a relationship with it and you choose to use it wisely having a brilliant relationship with time equates to using your time wisely and not taking your time for granted Having a bad relationship with time equals spending your days doing things that aren't aligned with your true purpose. Spending your days doing things, even though you're doing them unconsciously, spending days that are not aligned with who you really are. And I call these things time wasters. They waste your time and they waste your life. And when you love yourself, you do your utmost best to eliminate them from your life. So here's a list of time wasters that I wanted to discuss with you today. And these time wasters actually ruin your relationship with the time and then they, they just ruin your life. So number one is regretting the past. It's just a massive time waster. No use regretting the past. It's gone. We live in the present. Number two, dreading the future. Fear has no time and a love yourself as life. Number three, backbiting. Horrible, 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 horrible habit. You wouldn't like people to talk about you, so don't talk about people. Either talk about people nicely or don't talk about them. Number four, blame. Blame is when you don't take responsibility for your life. So don't blame yourself and don't blame others for anything. Just take responsibility for your life and be proactive for it now. Number five, comparing yourself for it with others. Now, the only person you ever compare yourself to in your lifetime when you love yourself is yourself. So, how am I compared to yesterday? How am I compared to before yesterday? And that's it. You just compare yourself to yourself. Am I doing better? Well done. That's it. You vouch for yourself. Number... I think we're up to number six, aren't we? Number six, complaining. Terrible, terrible, terrible habit. If you've got something to complain about... Don't complain, do something to solve what you're complaining about. That's more proactive. Next one, resentment, really bad for the heart. Getting angry, really bad for the heart. Arguing, not nice. Jealousy, terrible. Bullying yourself, awful. Uh, doing something that you don't love in fear of not succeeding. Mm -mm, that's a time waster. Only do what you're passionate about. And believe me, when you do what you're passionate about, you'll succeed, God willing. Being unkind to yourself and others, nope. And being lazy, 
horrible, 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 horrible. So that's just a list of, we could go on and on. That's just a list of time wasters. And when you actually fill your days with any of these or, 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 or a few of them, or maybe even all of them, God forbid, then you have a horrible relationship with time. So when you have a horrible relationship with time, what happens? Well, you just live a not nice life at all. You fill your days with these time wasters, which is basically you fill your days with negative energy. And then because you fill your days with these negative energies, the experiences that come your way, whether you like it or not, are going to be negative as well. Why? Because like attracts like. You attract what you do. So if you behave beautifully, you will actually attract beautiful behavior and think beautifully. You'll attract beautiful things in your life. But if you're backbiting, talking about people, blaming, regretting, jealousy, not going to bring about nice things, I promise. When you love yourself, you begin to live a conscious life and you begin to really appreciate your time you begin to do things with your time that are aligned with your true purpose you begin to honor your life and honoring your life means honoring your time and honoring your time means doing something doing things in your time regularly on a constant basis that is aligned with who you are and who who are you you are love, you are laughter, you are joy, you are beautiful. And that's what I want you and me and all of us to spend our time doing beautiful things. I love you loads. Have a beautiful, brilliant, amazing day. Have a beautiful, brilliant, amazing life. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.